and welcome to the second part of the strawberries and cream blanket. If you haven't met me before, I'm Hannah from Hand and Crochet and I'm delighted to meet you and work on this blanket with you. We are running a crochet along in July 2022, but if it's not that time anymore, then please don't worry. I'll put links in the description for where you can find the free version of the pattern, where you can purchase a PDF to download, and where you can also purchase the entire thing as a course. So have a little look down below, see which option suits you best, and let's get going. Okay, so section one is now complete. And as you see here, we've got up to row 21, and we're finishing with color L. And then we are ready to, I've got this bit here ready to show you, we're ready to work these two rows that I've called the intersection pattern, because they come, as I said, in between each section that we work. So each time you come across that in the pattern, it will be exactly the same. So let's have a quick look at how we do that now. Okay, so the intersection pattern, at the end of a row, we are going to yarn over and complete that stitch with colour A, because our intersection is going to be in colour A. And then we'll turn, ready to work the first row of this. So in the pattern, this is row 22. And we are going to chain one, and then we are going to uh, do a UK half treble and a US half double crochet in that first stitch that we come to. And then we're going to chain one, and then we're going to skip the next stitch, and then work a half treble, a UK half treble in the next stitch. And those three stitches is the repeat now for this row. So we just go along going a half treble, a UK half treble or a US half double crochet, and then a chain one, and a skip one, and then a stitch in the next one. And as you see, they're in sets of three. And in this first section, that's really easy to find because we've got sets of three stitches to line them up against. So we go again, we're doing a half treble, a chain one, skip one, and then a half treble. And you just carry on all the way along the row, just like that. And now here we are at the last three stitches. So we're going to work a stitch, chain one and skip one, and then work a stitch in the last one. And now we complete with this color because we're not going to change colors, we're going to turn, and we're going to repeat that exact same row that we have just done. So those these two rows will be the intersection pattern. So we chain one, and now you've already got your pattern set up for you, so you just follow what you've done below. We're going to work a half treble, a UK half treble there, a chain one and a skip one, which will be the chain from the row below. And then we work a stitch, a half treble into the next stitch. And then we do those three again. We half treble, we chain one, we skip one, and then we half treble in the next. And repeat those three all the way along. And then at the end of this row, you'll be ready to start section two. So this is the point that I wanted to mention about ends. So as you can see, there are lots and lots of ends already here. Now, people deal with them in different ways and whatever suits you is absolutely fine, of course. But I leave all of my ends and I sew them or weave them in almost at the very end. Um, I'm not a fan of crocheting over ends, but I know that works really well for some people. So if that does work well for you, then please go ahead and do that. Um, if it works well for you to um, not have to face them all at the very end, um, I would do a section and then sew in your ends. The only issue with that is that if you do want to change it somehow at some point, then that's really tricky because if you weave in your ends securely enough to uh, keep them secure, then you shouldn't be able to get them undone again. So I always err on the side of caution, having been burnt before um, by not being able to get something undone, I always leave everything right to the end 
um, and then I weave them in before I um, finish and complete the border. So there we are, the last stitch, and we are ready to break our yarn because that's our intersection pattern made there. And that's going to come back after each main section that we do. And we are then ready to start section two.